What do you think about the direction of today's music? Direction of today's music? Yeah, the way music is being played and what we hear on the radio. Oh, it's crap. <laughs> do you think there's hope? Um, well, there's always hope, you know, but things go in cycles and, you know, that's, uh, that's a loaded question because, because, uh, you know, our society is becoming more and more, um, virtual and, uh, and, um, and people are losing what it means to be connected. And so it's, it's, yeah, it's a scary time in every respect. What, what made you decide to express yourself and your story in the form of a rock opera? Because um, that's the, I want that was the platform that I thought the only way that my music would really fit it was because um, there's so much story behind it and um, and message. And so yeah, I wanted to tell my story just as much as the music. What or who have been your musical influences along the way? David Bowie, Freddie Mercury. Um, those two musically, um, yeah, pretty much. How do you feel about love? What do you mean? What does it mean to you? Love? Yeah. Oh, love is everything. <laughs> do you believe there are different kinds of love? Uh, that someone could feel, or is love just love? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is true love, are you asking? Okay. Any way you take it. Oh, okay. Um, love for me is, uh, is coming home, like being, is, uh, is um, being one with the universe, with everything and everyone. So it's union. How does love relate to your rock opera, the Southern Time Trilogy? Um, it's the third movie is, uh, it's named All Love. So it's, <laughs> yeah, it's very much a part of it. Um, it's, you know, it, it's, it's the journey of love because I go from uh, unrequited love many times and, and, you know, all the bastard forms of love and then, and then, I, then, my character eventually realizes that it's all about love. <laughs> uh, what has moving to Toronto from Vancouver done for your evolution as an artist? Um, oh, it's been freedom. It's it's really helped me to grow. I've grown more in the last uh, six months than I have in the last six years. Uh, what do you think about people who use people? Um, they're just deceiving themselves. <laughs> do you feel you've been used? And if so, how did it make you feel? Um, I, I've been used and I've used people, you know, and, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not a good way to go. Mm. Do you think people can change without a life altering experience? No. <laughs> Can you summarize what what's happened to you? Um, it's a uh, yeah. It's just uh, the rug has been pulled out under me from under me many times, and uh, and continues to be so. You know, just when you think you you're getting handle on things, you know, life tricks you, and. Uh, and there's always more to learn, always. Do you believe you've changed since your experience? And, and would you say it was life altering? Oh, of course, of course it was. Yeah. Uh, tell me how you are, you're different due to what's happened to you. Um, I'm a lot more secure. I, I love myself a lot more than I used to. And, uh, and but I'm humble. Um, well, unlike I used to be, and uh, yeah, yeah, and I and I and I have a lot more compassion for everyone. 
Uh, you must have experienced various reactions from people when you tell your story, whether in everyday life or through performance. How have you found these re reactions? Have they been good, cruel, positive, negative? Well, they say the medium is the message, and and up until now, my medium has not has been tortured, <laughs> to put it mildly, and so so people have not come away with good things to say, or if, you know they might. Um, they might, it, it's more like, oh, you poor thing, but, uh, but. And that's not what you're trying to. No, 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 no. So it's just, it's just part of the journey. I know, and, you know, when I play the cello, you know, I make people cry. So it's, mm -hmm. you know, I have, I have it in me. It's just figuring out what is the medium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going to be turning 40 soon. Yeah. How different are you from your twenties to your thirties? Um, uh, a lot more mature, but, uh, yeah. Do you feel more comfortable with yourself? Yes. Yeah. 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 Way more comfortable with myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it less of a roller coaster? Would you say in your twenties, people often go through their most changes. Yeah. Do you think that's true for you? Oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 Rarely anything surprises me anymore. It's like. I had quite a, um, for example, I had quite a uh, disturbing dream, or would have been disturbing in my twenties, last night, um, uh, and but, you know it's just like, oh, that would have really freaked me out in my twenties, but it doesn't really freak me out anymore. <laughs> right. uh, what do you think the coming years will be for you then, in the next, in the forties? Oh, I, I, I hope to realize my, uh, what I believe is, hope is my uh, life's purpose. Mm -hmm. Do you know what your life's purpose is? Or do I, you I, still I, have to realize I, it? I, yeah. <laughs> no, no I, I think I know what it is, but you know, you always have to, you have to, you can't, you can't, no one is God, you know, you have to, you have to allow things to be what they are. Do you believe in God? I believe in love. <laughs> Have you changed from when you started writing your movies until now? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was a very cathartic experience. Mm -hmm. Up to now, you've been mostly a solo artist and have been searching for members of your band. What are you looking for in a band and, and what kind of band would you like it to be? What I realized recently is that the band is uh, it's not just a band of musicians. There will be a band of musicians, very musicians from typical uh, five-piece band, including me, and a uh, rock band or whatever, and uh, and orchestra, but also further, it's because it's a rock opera. It includes all the members of the rock opera. Everybody goes into that, and and then beyond that. I include my fans as part of the band, the Southern Time band. You can switch band, a band of brothers, or as a tribe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spreading love. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> what What other instruments would you like to add to the band? Um, so I I play piano and cello while singing, and I, I would, and and in the band I I would do other for the musicians that I would do their songs. And uh, I, I would uh, let them sing, and uh, and and accompany them, and uh, and yeah, just collaborate, do different things. So um, yeah, it could be anything. Depends whatever. For for my music, uh, that the core piece is the standard. Well, except for my piano and cello, and uh, would be uh, would be drums, bass, guitar. And uh, guitar, lead guitar, I'm um, rhythm guitar maybe I don't know I don't know yet. And multi instrumentalist uh, synth player. You know. It's sort of as it comes you'll find. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, you'll yeah. Know yeah, right. exactly, exactly. Yeah, depends have on you, the person. Or have you found any members yet? Yes, one member. And do they play an instrument? No. <laughs> 
Um, when you perform, you paint your face and take on the persona of your character, T. Yes. Why? Um, because, yeah, it's, uh, T is the mock star. He's a trickster. And, uh, and it's, uh, I like that, that, um, archetype. Mm -hmm. Um. Where did he come from? Oh, the planet Z Zix. <laughs> but where did he come from within you? Uh, oh, he it was this, it came from this dream. It's, uh. It actually the most profound dream of my life when I was 15 he uh, I was uh, I was really desperate I was bullied at school I had unhappy you were a bully or bullied bullied <laughs> and uh, I had an unhappy um, uh, family home or family life and uh, and so I just wanted to escape and and I, I didn't I, want, I asked why to the universe, and so I went to sleep, and I traveled in the stars, and saw these interdimensional mazes, uh, one by one, and, and completed them, then I came to this last one, and I heard this voice that said, if you solve this last one, you're, and, and you, and you fail, you, your soul will be lost in oblivion forever, but if you pass it, if you if you pass it, you your you will your body will be no longer yours to control. And so I did the test. I said I have nothing to lose, and so I did the test, and I I passed it. And then I woke up, and I didn't feel any different. So that was the inspiration. I think that was T. <laughs> <laughs> He's tricking me. <laughs> Do you get nervous before a performance? Huh? Do you get nervous before a performance? Depends how well I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to when you're alone? Huh? What kind of music do you listen to when you're alone? I don't listen to music. One of those music's always going on in my head. <laughs> oh, okay. So when you're driving or anything like that, you just no, you just no, keep not the silence? anymore. I I used to not anymore. I listen mm -hmm. to, I listen to what's going on in the world. What captures your imagination? Um, what captures my imagination? Mm -hmm. Beauty. What do you think about the state of the world right now? Oh, it's, it's hell in a handbasket. <laughs> We've got to do something quick. Mm -hmm. um, with everything that's happened to you um, and lies told to you or uh, treated you in a uh, given you the idea of trust but not true trust manipulation and and sort of that kind of thing uh you seem to be angerless uh would you comment on your attitude to being no <laughs> that's profound <laughs> um well you seem to live in that kind of state of you know, a profound state, a little bit different oh. than most people. So, oh, okay. The way you look at things, the way you. Well, it's just, you know, everything happens for a reason. So, you know, it's just the way people are the way they are because of the way they are. You know, it's because of what happened in their lives or didn't happen. And so it's, you know, I, I have been angry in my life in the past, very much so. You know, it's like. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of like that now. I don't have anything to lose. <laughs> so, so why not just enjoy the moment? Okay. To finish, my last question is a common, common one. If you could meet and have a conversation with someone who has died at any point in time, who would it be? Why? And what would you like to discuss with him or her? Hmm. You could pick two people if you need to. Um, I would like to meet somebody from another world. <laughs> That's not anyone we know. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I set my sights high. It's like, I, I don't know. I just, you know. Yeah, because I don't know. I, I 
because I, I'd just be speculating because I don't know people for, for real, just what I've heard. And um, so I, I think there are beings that have, um, in civilization, species that have evolved beyond where we are right now, I've gone over all this crap. And, uh, and I think I could learn a lot. We could learn a lot from them.